This time around, let's see if maybe uh, there's going to be some difference. And, and, you know, Sinji does like to keep it at his pace. So I think more than anything, what we're going to be able to see is Sinji keeping it nice and slow in the corner. Um, that's his ideal, I think. Yeah, and kind of right now, what we're seeing is actually a little bit more action from Kamex, constantly trying to get past all of the projectiles Sinji is setting up. Oh, but that one of the risks about playing against Pac-Man is uh, his boxing tool is really good. Yeah, Forward it, air? It's the meme. It's zoners have hands. And this is the zoner with the most hands. His frame data is kind of ridiculous. Absolutely. Look at this. 94% on Kamex, and most of that, it's not been through projectiles. It's just been through those close quarter moves. And right now, Kamex, despite all the moves he might have, he can't actually find an opening on Sinji. I love that, throwing out the trampoline. Does that interact the way I think it does with Spin Dash? It does. Anything that interacts with it, you already know, it's getting interrupted, setting them up in the air. Sinji's going to be ready for that as well. Yeah, now, one thing actually that I remember seeing last week that maybe we'll get a chance to see is specifically Sonic forward air off stage against Pac-Man when he's trampolining. Because I believe it just results in a suicide kill for both of them. Yes, it, it very well can. The multiple bounces off the trampoline can do just that. And not only that, even if he just hit the last hitbox, the base knockback on that move is really high. This is where I think, yeah, Kamex, I like the fact he's playing a lot more patient, being a lot more careful. Realize that running in and trying to break past, well, okay, maybe a little bit too patient, you know? You do have a shield button you can hit, buddy. Yeah, that was just, I think, a missed reaction all across the stage with Hydran. Very unfortunate uh, for Kamex and being down a big percent margin here. Yeah, I think that was, he thought it was going to despawn. It was bouncing for a really long time right there. But, uh, you know, better safe than sorry, especially at that range. And right now, Kamek's looking pretty sorry. He's down by so much against Sinji. And a single mistake at these percent specifically. Look at how much damage he's already taken. 61, he's about to be lapped. And Sinji with Bell in hand has so much, just such a threatening aura right now. And really, I think the scariest thing about this is how much stage Sinji threatens. And seeing that high base knockback come in there, but um, how much stage Sinji threatens on FD because of how flat it is, it's so scary and so tough to deal with Pac-Man. Yes, he's definitely not finding a way to deal with Pac-Man right now. Sinji going for a lot of these forward smashes, though. Very curious. I think just trying to end things quickly. Uh, oh, nice tech right there. That's something we definitely see Kamex try to go for, and Sinji is absolutely ready for it. How did he still know? He just reacted to the reverse side B, and it was enough nonetheless. Look at these. <laughs> right now, where, where are you going, buddy? What's happening down there? And then that's the, that's the thing with Sinji. He has so many mix-ups off the stage as Pac-Man, and it kind of allows you to take so many different angles. Uh, allows Sinji really to get another chance at neutral, um, which he has been already so good at thus far, and get a decent amount of percent um, onto Kamex. Already another 30 on top of what he already had. He's back. Uh, he should be dead, though. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? He could have gone down there and snatched the last hit of the trampoline. Oh, and because of that, now Sinji's alive at 100. Okay, now he's super, super dead. Sheesh. Um, that's a really good pickup for Kamex. But I think it, it speaks volumes that he had to kill Sinji with 170% with a bell. Yeah. <laughs> that and that was how we found the stock. Yeah, and it's, it, it's you know, a, certainly a necessary kill at that point. Sonic, we are well aware, can make the comeback. Um, a character that has the ability off a of spin dash to get early kills. The issue is that because Sinji's controlling the stage so well um, with that hydrant, with the projectiles, it really has been tough to force Sinji to close enough to ledge where those early confirms can come out. Yeah, now, it's worth noting, this was actually the stage that both of these players agreed to for game one. Do you think that was the right call on Kamex's part? It's, you know, in theory, you, you as Sonic, you immediately think, okay, FD, makes a whole lot of sense. Has been good on this stage pretty much forever um, because of the amount of stage that Sonic can cover with Spin Dash. But because of the kind of stage hazardy nature of Pac-Man, it is, makes it a lot more difficult for a character like Sonic to really get many things going on a stage that is this flat. You really want those platforms to be able to jump around. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like Pac-Man secretly goes into the rules select and toggles hazards on for every single stage. Because look at how he's just setting things up right here. Between the trampolines, the hydrants, despite the speed Kamex has, he's not finding any openings through everything that's in his way. 
And it really... Ooh, but a huge call-out. Massive call-out by Kamex. Off the top? We caught Sanji all the way up there like he's Snake. That was honestly really, really good. I think Sinji thought he was being cute. He was just like, I'm going to go so high, nobody can reach me. Yeah, the thing about Pac-Man Side B is that it does have a ludicrous amount of lag. Um, you can fast fall after it. You can do many things out of it. Um, however, you are in a decent amount of lag after you do that. And you also are in a decent amount of mag lag after Sonic Side B. That's going to be the stock. Sinji, yep. over Kamex in game number one. Now, it felt like at the end right there, Kamek started to, you know, get things a little bit back in, you know, in shape. But it was, you know, just a little bit too late. The thing is, though, that game started off so dominant for Sinji. Mm. As we move into game two, th this is a type of matchup where the very beginning just says so much. If Sinji's the one who's playing from behind, if Sinji sets up this wall of projectiles and everything, and Kamek just goes, cool. Mm. You know, I, oh, yeah, we were questioning this pick, but maybe we're going to be shown that we were wrong because he t counter picks right back to FD. Uh, let's you, you know, I have to respect resilience. I have to respect, you know, running it back. Uh, I, I do worry about him being able to get around those projectiles, though. Being able to get around, especially Hydra on a stage like FD, is so tough because you want those platforms to be able to mix up your jumps and your jump ins. And really, it, so far, it's been tough for Kamex to get around everything. Yeah, that being said, even in percent, completely even in percent right now, actually. And the fact that this game so far is, you know, is more of a back and forth as opposed to getting blown up and eating 140% right at the start. I think that, you know, maybe it wasn't the stage. There was just some play that needed to be cleaned up because right now Kamek's in the lead, actually, by about, it's only 20, but a lead matters so much. Yeah, and really, uh, on a, in this match specifically, you want that stock lead because both characters can kind of take your stock fairly early um, and put on a whole lot of percent. Pretty fast, speaking of the devil, um, but Sonic is just so, so strong keeping a lead. Um, this is huge for Kamek to start this game off. Yeah, so now <laughs> sorry, the onus is on Sinji. Kamek's at 100. What does he have that can kill? There's Bell? That's maybe a forward smash at the ledge, but besides that, there isn't really much. Sinji's going to have to continue grinding this out and try to avoid taking too much damage. Two back airs, three of them. I thought he was going to use a fourth right there, but no, it's actually still about 38% that Sinji's taken. Even if he takes the stock right now, which is still kind of, I'd say, a far cry. You know, this percent deficit is only growing. And I, what I love here, and then normally you, you would say, oh, a player being aggressive with a lead, normally not something you want to do. In this situation, I love it. Because you know what it doesn't allow Sinji to do? Get Bell. Yeah. Which is so huge. And it's really the, 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 the best way for Pac-Man to get any sort of kills is to get Bell on deck. You can see that aggression there. That may have actually canceled out the uh, charge as well. No, it did not. So since you did, in fact, get the shield out in time, at the very, very least, cancel the charge. Yeah, and I think Bell is now. Yep, there. Oh no, he has key. Yeah. Very smart. We are at that key percent range now, for yeah. sure. <sighs> at the same time, key in this game, it's kind of weird where like it's a really good burst option at this specific range, and then past that, it's very reactable. And does Key beat out Spin Dash, or does it lose to Spin Dash? I do believe it clanks. Um, however, it, it doesn't seem like it matters very much right now with Kamex in such a huge uh, lead. That's going to be a quick punish. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, taking that stock is nice, but a complete stock lead for Kamex. It's looking really good for him right now. Honestly, like, we might be heading to a Game 3 kind of soon. But Sinji, as a player, he's gotten so much better over the years at making comebacks like this happen. You know, and kind of Pac-Man in this game, he can facilitate it. He has such good low percent combos, things like Galaxian. So that's what Sinji's looking for. That if he manages to get a few good hits in and then possibly into an early kill, he can even things up in the blink of an eye. Yeah, and I want to point out there with the down B, Sonic uh, right there got so much shield pressure. And I think it's kind of been the name of the game at the moment is just that Kamex has put on the pressure on Sinji. Staying close, not really allowing Sinji much room, not allowing that stage control, which is such an issue in game number one, to be a factor. At the same time, the way that Sinji has been, you know, cleaning up his play in this game, at least, but for the tail end of it, he's actually being a lot more aggressive. He's getting in his face. Sonic doesn't have the best out-of-shield options in the world, and Pac-Man's really fast, quick normals actually doing quite a bit of work in order to make back some kind of differential. <gasps> he actually got the bell in the middle of that! This is so dangerous if he That was so good, though. 
Yeah, and ooh, that is a big punish for Shinji. And only down 62. This is not a decent or really that bad of a lead uh, for Shinji to come back from. However, let's trap times. Yeah. And I'm looking at the clock, two and a half, well, almost three minutes, actually. So unless things get slowed down to a snail's glacial pace, uh, we're probably not going to be seeing a timeout. These two are probably going to end up seeing it all the way through to the end. Oh, and the end, um, not even necessarily that close to near for uh, Kamex, just being that Sonic can at times struggle to kill, has gotten quite a few early stocks thus far. However, um, Sinji looking to play maybe a little bit more patient at the end of this uh, stock, trying to just maintain uh, the damage until there was a big opening. Oh, he's being aggressive. <laughs> he's trying to get in on Sinji right now. He's the one with the lead. You don't necessarily need to be doing that. <gasps> oh boy, just barely missing that up air. Now Sinji's you know, back on stage with a little bit of control. Can he actually do anything off of it though? Most of the damage that he's been getting has been through, like, breaking through and hitting normals. But once it gets these higher percents, it's so risky to be in Sonic's face that Sinji just doesn't feel comfortable going for it anymore. And this is where now Kamex is at a huge what? positional advantage. I'm shocked that grab did not work there. Um, maybe the... You know what that probably was? The invincibility on startup of uh, Spin Dash. Oh. Fantastic use of that. Okay. Fantastic use of the invincibility right there. Really saving his skin right now. 77% on Kamex. It's uh, if he gets belled at the uh -oh. ledge, he's dead. It's worth if noting. He gets belled, belled anywhere on stage, and that's gonna be death. He just dared into the floor and let it happen. I... <sighs> he did all that. Sat there until about the one minute mark in the game. And yeah, here we are. You died. Yeah, I. What was he? What was he looking for? No, that here? that that is a legitimate mix-up that Sonic does. Um, I know, I, I know it's out of side B or out or out of. Um, okay, down can we B. get a look at that again? I just want to just highlight here. Uh, at the end. But no, um, normally you do the dare a lot yeah, closer so to here. the ground. Also, look at the the space between them. Yeah. All of this space, right? This is where he ends up landing with that down air. Yeah. Uh, I assume it's like there's maybe bait out or like because with That's bell in big. hand you know he has the bell in hand so like he can just throw it and cover a huge amount of space yeah. it's not like a character i mean the, the, pretty much the space you pointed out can be covered by either through the air or on the floor at the two ends of it yeah so i'm wondering what exactly that downer was supposed to like it he couldn't even like pac-man could not physically get there to have him like approach that is normally a legitimate mix-up with the, with sonic is that the character does do spin dash uh dare i don't i don't remember if that one's spin dash or so i'll be honest with you i don't remember the names of them um uh, but i know that sonic do cancel it at to wait. bait and approach can we look at it again actually i want to i'm going to change my uh my record for the court look at this sinji he dashes back dashes in and shields that's what it was uh, he thought he was going to commit to this run in yeah and then look at that if he had kept going if he had not stopped at all he would have been right in there for the to yeah. get hit by that down air but Sinji just waiting a hair second Still holding shield. Still a wild shield. down there to do though. Like even, is, e yeah. even if that is the yeah. e even if that is the logic behind it, like, like that's still like that's not the down is not killing, right? And like down would kill. Sinji was like what? Sad down That move never that move never kills. Really? 148. Down, down like never kills.